Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we are playing Back to the Future again Back to the Future the game again uh, the episode this one and uh, let's, let, let's start let's start let's start let's just start That junk looks awfully familiar. 50 years familiar. That leads to the Sumo. Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? You left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kind of like you like this. Oh, barf. Okay, wh what are you being Leech and the whoosh bags. Never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. <laughs> so do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritist legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! <laughs> Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest, that's what. Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not, and say we did. Nah. Uh. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think, but after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Go fig. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. This is stupid fucking... Okay, I, 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 I don't... Okay. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really, this crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into... More interesting things. And guys. What interesting guys. Going guy. out with someone else, I bet I can make you forget him. 
Sorry, Martin, but you just don't raid anymore. Wait, what the fuck? So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about him as a <laughs> third person is a dork. Okay. I, I, I will agree with Jennifer over there. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, <clears throat> yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You wanna see Citizen Brown too? Yeah! Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Good. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Oh, there's a wooden plank over here, though. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Oh, that, that, that's literally that you can walk up and then go somewhere. Oh, God damn it. Why? Break doorway. It's a fast way to walk. They bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. Ammo box. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. What is it now? Okay, you don't know the answer. Your though. paint's starting to. Ah! Locked. Not interested. I don't want to go. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge. Happy little tree. Okay then. Look out, son! <coughs> Sorry about that. If you, if you can hear that, it's just me sneezing. God damn it. No, no, no. Hey, mom. Uh, what are you doing out here? So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh, for my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. My oh, mother's kiss also forbidden. Forbidden. That, that, that's a... Well, okay. it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. I don't know, 
John. Isn't this illegal? What isn't illegal in Hill Valley? What is this? The ground's watching. Don't worry, nobody can see us here. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> ah! Dad, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Hey, I hear you got hit with some more demerits, Nathan. Good on you, I say. Sure. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting? What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at Supmo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers... What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Dad, you are way off here. Mom isn't a... Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother is relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out, what do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. It's about someone we both know. Yes? Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. Uh, David and Linda, have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Because of this, hmm. god damn it, because of this. Something on your mind? Because of all the fucking this, okay. Yeah, what were you hiding when I came in? What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown. It's not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even <coughs> the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. <laughs> it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. 
Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Okay, then, I'll take the tattoos, Citizen Brown. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Okay, then. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Uh, day, secret stash. Morris guitar. Is this my guitar? Attention, benefit! This domicile is in violation of civic ordinance DZ36 and has been placed in protective quarantine until corrective measures can be taken. Please back away from the house. Have a nice day. What the hell? Don't violate the perimeter, son. Another day in Phil Valley. So okay, I can't get into my own house. God damn it. What's the problem, citizen? Oops, wrong number. Oh shit. I know what to do. Take my fucking guitar. What's my Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music <coughs> is frowned on by the Brown oh, administration. It sets that. a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Oh. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... Music is good for you, it improves your mental performance. Then take up the piccolo. Leave the electric guitar to the rebels and malcontents. A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further away. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> son of a bitch. Good morning, Mrs. Brown. Please address me as Mrs. Greetings, programs. LeBrock 2.0. Anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. Can okay, I just... Oh, there's something... Monitors. Shelves. That's no way to treat such a fine guitar. I still think that I can do something over here though, but still there's nothing for me right now to go over there. Locked. I don't want. Okay, that area can't be assessed yet. That leads to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. We can, you no, know, yell at him at the front door. Just gonna try. The bell's there. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soup Mo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech! Was that Jennifer? 
Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more? Yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. God damn, what the fuck? Oh god. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a D.O.G. running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh. Mostly. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little SOB. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. You and Jennifer? Really? Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? Well, yeah, and a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. You got a cold or something? Ugh. Allergies. I swear, there's a dog hanging out around here somewhere. A dog? Yeah. And the stupid mutt keeps trying to steal my free samples. You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now... Fuck that you. dork that let her get away, there's a loser that I got no respect for. What's on the menu? Soup. Just soup? And more. What falls under the more category? We got neat loaf. It's made with textured wheat protein. Uh, no thanks. No mind. I'm just gonna see ya. Smell you later. Oh. Hey, hey! There's that mangy. Ah, go get him, McFly. That's tiny. Mom? Where are you, Mama? I'm sorry, Mama. Having fun, kid? Nah. Who said that? Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C-64. I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. Mom, mom, mom. Mom? Yeah. Uh, mom, are you a uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, mom. It's just that dad mentioned. Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret <laughs> from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad, Mom, knock it off, you two. Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine? No. 
Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if you weren't... Well, uh, that's it for today's video. I guess I gotta cut it over here because I'm trying to optimize the watch time. And I will see you this in the next video. Peace out.